This is Duke University. When the temperature changes outside, Duke community members inside won't feel any drastic variation thanks to Duke's chilled water system. From a single room at Duke's chilled water plant number two off LaSalle Street, facilities management support staff can control temperatures across Duke's campus or relay messages to staff in the field. Basically, this is the main hub of communication now for all of our controls. So if we ever have an incident on the campus, you need a central location to be able to look at all of the pertinent systems that are operating on the campus. So this would kind of be like a, a, a central control room, but it'd also be like the, the central spot if we had an emergency on campus. This is also gives us the ability to have one place where we're 24 hours uh, occupied. So we have double shifts. Uh, we have 12 hour shifts. We have two men on campus at all times looking at the chill water system, looking at the steam system, other utilities. Gives us a better uh, response time for issues, concerns. Just about all the buildings on West Campus are served now by chill water. Every new building on campus is basically served by the central chill water and central steam. The three newest buildings that we have are the Cancer Center Edition, Duke Medical Pavilion, and the Learning Center. Because there's a, a map out in our lobby that's colored in Duke blue, all the buildings that are uh, uh, served by the Central Chill Water. Twelve years ago, there was like two buildings. And now it's hard to miss what isn't touched by the single hub of heating and cooling activity. Produced by the Office of Communication Services. Online at communications.hr.duke.edu.